In this tutorial we're going to talk about what to consider when choosing glue powders. Many glue powders are available and with West System there's a confusingly large variety that can be challenging to navigate. There are other brands offering options but let's focus on International's Epiglass 9000 system and West System's wide range of products. I'll also provide some general guidance on when where and how to choose the right powder. International Paints Epiglass system is really simple with only three powders to choose from. They simply have a lightweight filler powder, a general purpose micro balloon type filler powder that can be used underwater and a glue powder. So the Epiglass range is easy. Identify the task, choose the powder you suited uh, to what you want to do, mix it up and off you go. West System offers 13 basic powders and additives and many other additional specialist powders that go beyond the scope of this video's time limit. There are three glues in the West System powder range. 403 is their all-purpose general use glue powder that will bond almost anything to anything. Care is needed using this stuff as it dries like rock and is very difficult to move, remove any excess once it's dried. 404 is even stronger uh, than 403 and good if there are large voids needed to fill it and bond. Whereas 413 is a general purpose glue that hardens with a textured finish, making it suitable for mid laminate applications where more either more epoxy layers or more paint layers are going to be added immediately afterwards. It serves as the most versatile adhesive filler powder in the West Systems range and can be compared to Epiglass's filler slash adhesive. 413 is a dual purpose filler adhesive as well and would be the first choice if you're just wanting one powder on board for um, either budgetary or space reasons. The array of filler and fairing compounds seems mind-boggling but let's try to simplify things a bit. If you're doing any underwater work, 409 is a good general purpose filler. 417 are what you'll hear referred to as the micro balloons, and this is the go-to for larger area fairing work for underwater. Both 409 and 417 can be used above water as well, of course. Their specialist purpose is for underwater. For general purpose above water fairing, 405, is the terracotta or wood colored general purpose fairing powder and 407 is same general purpose powder but in white 410 is a very lightweight powder great for shaping and fairing in low density and is recommended for underwater work too so if you know that you're going to be sanding for a long time to bring this into the shape that you want 410 is the is the go-to 402 is a ground glass powder it's recommended for minor repairs and dings as it has good strength properties if you have an area overhead or on a vertical surfaces or an overhanging surface um, that you're trying to fill or fair, you might want to think about adding 406 colloidal silica to any of these fairing compounds as it will um, add a not just a thickness but a stiffness to the compound and it will prevent it from deforming um, while it's still wet under gravity. There are some specialist powders worth mentioning. 421 is a fire retardant additive, as epoxy is uh, very flammable. Um, so you might want to use it, mix it in and use it in something like an engine bay or somewhere where there's a high fire risk, electrical panels, that sort of thing. 422 serves as a moisture barrier additive with excellent abrasion properties. And for osmosis treatment or something, we've peeled the underwater area of the, of the boat. We might add 422, the surface um, for, for water proofing properties. 423 is a graphite powder additive that is then self-lubricating so you could mix that in and use it for somewhere like a centerboard or a rudder box if you've got a multi-hull or something like that. So glue powders and filler powders, um, all sorts of things. There, There is a powder and a glue for every day of the week times a hundred. You need to know exactly what you're trying to do you know about it the moment you get this wrong. If you use a glue powder to do a filling job or, and or you do, you've used it to glue and you want to sand it down, oh, on earth, on earth, it's so hard. 
when you use the blue powder. You use a filler powder and you want to sand it down afterwards and it's like, oh, Michelangelo, I can do whatever I like with this 80 grit and shape it and form it. And that's what you're doing is you're, there's the difference in the two worlds.